So hi everyone. Uh, I'm Jairam. Uh, Jairam, can you hear me? I'm sorry yep, to interrupt. Yeah. Okay. Can you just keep your uh, chat box open? Just scroll your mouse to the top of your screen. Uh, click on the uh, chat button, and then okay. keep it open okay. because okay. we would want you know trainees to post questions here so that you know uh, uh, it, your session doesn't get interrupted in, in case they have question in between. Okay, sure, I'll do that. Okay. Yeah, thank I will, you. I've already and, kept it open. Okay, great. And whenever you want an acknowledgement, they can respond to the chat box there. Perfect. Good. Yeah. yeah. Yes, Vidya, the, uh, the demo is recorded. Yeah, you can continue, Jer uh, Jera. Okay, thank you. So, yeah, uh, everyone, hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Jairam. I've been in this IT for the past 10 years, uh, completely into DW and BI um, experience. Uh, I work on both Abnisio and Informatica. I run Informatica, I've worked for the past seven years, Abnisio for the past six years. So, the merger of these both tools and uh, I worked in a couple of migration projects, individual development projects, and a uh, lot of them in uh, BA tools. Uh, not only BA, I have also experience on the scheduling tools like Control M models, STWS. So that is my uh, experience on a uh, high level. Now uh, I'll be the trainer for your uh, this Informatica course. So let's go to the demo and probably questions we can ask in the end of the class. Now this Informatica is a corporation which is present in Redwood City, USA. Informatica as a corporation, right, has many products in the BAE framework. And the product which we are discussing is Informatica Power Center. Informatica Power Center is an ETL tool. When I say these three words, E, E, and L, okay, I hope everybody is able to hear me. There should be no problems in hearing me. If you have any problem, as we are in the starting of the class, we can rectify it. Please ping me or message me as Anthony said. Okay, so Informatica is an ETL tool. E meaning extract, T meaning transform, L meaning load. Okay, I extract the data, I transform it, and then load it back. So where do I extract? What do I extract is the next question which comes to our mind. Now, I extract the data from n number of heterogeneous platforms. When I say heterogeneous platform, first let us see why do we need the ETL tool. For example, if I have to join two tables in a database, I can write a simple SQL query or I can write a join statement and I can join the data, right? But if I have to join a table and a file, for example, or a table from Oracle database with another table from Teradata, when there are two heterogeneous systems, there I would need some common platform which I can join these two sources or I can make some transformations on these two sources. Those type of common platforms are provided by the ETL tools, okay? So when I'm saying ETL tools, I'm talking in general. I'm not specifically talking about Informatica Power Center, but I'm giving you a general introduction of the ETL tools. So the ETL tools are bringing us a common platform where we can get heterogeneous sources like tables, flat files, XML files, PDFs, Excel files, and a n number of right heterogeneous sources. We bring them onto a common platform. We extract the data, and then we apply some business rules. We transform them. Transform meaning, for example, I might join two tables. I might remove the duplicates in one table, or I might do uh, some up, upper, lower, some something kind of trimming the names, trimming the spaces, all these kind of minimum transformations, and then I load them back into my data warehouse or whatever is my target system is, okay? So extract, transform, and load is what is my primary job as an ETL tool. Now Informatica is providing a tool called as Informatica Power Center for doing this ETL, extract, transform, and load. Okay, I'll pause for a minute probably. Any questions, anything you want me to ask? Okay, I take that silence as no. Now, uh, this is about Informatica as a corporation. You can just read on the screen, okay? Probably, is that tool used by testers? Uh, no, this is a pure development tool, Vidya, okay? You can use it for testing, of course, but this is mostly developer-oriented. It's it's not like a testing tool like or 
it's not a quality center tool which is only used for test cases right so it's a majorly development tool but yes if you want to test the data in the table yes you can use it as, as well on that aspect also but on a pure note on a um, what's it it's a development tool okay now it's founded in 1993 it's a leader in enterprise solution products its headquarters is in redwood city ca blah 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 all these things okay now the etl tools which are in the market can people tell me some of the etl tools probably what all you know i mean anything except informatica i think there's data stage okay this is saying i think um, most of the vendors like sap or oracle or uh, uh, ibm they have uh, mm -hmm. etl tools data stage okay yes cool but I mean, name some of the etl tools probably data stage is one maybe. i heard ssis abd show yes Anything else? Uh, how about micro strategy? Yep, micro strategy. Uh, SSIS. Okay, SSIS. Okay. Uh -huh. Now Cognos is a reporting tool. <laughs> Cognos business objects, they are all reporting tools. Okay. So I mean, people have already spoken about all of almost all the major tools. OBI, SSIS, right? Uh, micro strategy. Someone said. Uh, and uh, informatica power center data stage abinitio pentaho is one open source etl tool so among all these etl tools your informatica is the pioneer in all these tools it occupies approximately 50 to 60% of the market share it is very clear a leader and a distinguisher between all these etl tools what is making informatica so popular one the ease of usage the gui and the company's licensing strategy these three things okay it's very easy to learn for a guy who want to shift his technology or for a guy who want to start on data warehouse or anybody it's very easy to learn if you know a basic sql you can directly jump on this tool and start working that is primarily number one which is making it pioneer second the effectiveness and the gui of the screen which is a simple drag and drop is making it much more comfortable in learning to the people third the licensing strategy of the company right the licensing strategy of the company is also very simple uh, they will give you free licenses training licenses all those offers and all okay because if you see if you think in perspective of a company okay if you are buying a tool they look at many factors probably they look at how does the tool work is the licensing good are they giving us some offers or they giving us some free licenses of training all these things a company ceo or a cto of a company might think if you want to buy a tool right as a developer probably we may not be thinking in that aspect but if you grow high you'll probably definitely has to see all these aspects before you choose a product from the available products in the market so all these things are making informatica uh, uh, a pioneer in our uh, bi area or bi uh, tool okay now in terms of capabilities Informatica does not stand number one. The necessary capabilities: how fast the data is processed, how efficient you can read multiple files, right? In terms of capabilities, probably it stands number three. The first being Abinitio, second being Data Stage, and third being Informatica. So, in terms of capabilities, Informatica is number three, but in terms of usage, it's number one. Okay? So that's how the ETL tools uh, are presently in the well, available in the market. any questions okay now probably one more aspect which is making informatica much easier is informatica resources right if you have any questions or if you need any uh, white papers to submit it or anything you can go to informatica.com or there is a separate website for developers where they can post their questions right this is also one good aspect where people will look for for example if you face any issue if you google it you could be able to get at least some help for abin issue the online help is zero you won't get any online or the corporation abin issue corporation does not give any their own website where you can post their questions but on the contrary informatica is giving you a forum where you can go and post your questions you can ask the questions and those questions will be answered by informatica team 
So that is making it more easy for the developer in terms of support when he faces a problem. So informatica.com, myinformatica.com and devnet.informatica.com are the resources which are available on the Informatica end. Now, you have also three certifications which are provided by Informatica, Administrator, Designer and Consultant. Okay, so each uh, certification has again multiple exams in it. For example, I am Informatica Designer certified. So we have to write three exams to get it qualified, exam A, architecture, exam B, mapping design, exam D, advanced mapping design. So when I wrote it about two, three years back, it is about $200 each exam, and you can have two attempts. It's a home-based exam, open book exam kind of thing. You can sit at your home and write it. So if you write these three exams, you'll get a certificate called Informatica Designer. Similarly, administrator and consultant, you need to write all these exams. So that's how the certification is provided by Informatica. It's valid for two years. After two years, you have to again write it and rewrite and discuss it. Now, this is about the general introduction of Informatica. I'll probably step onto the core side. What is the architecture? What does Informatica Power Center tools do look like? Does it require work experience? Yes. Exam B, good question, Vidya. Thank you. Uh, exam B, you can just, after my training, you can go and write it, probably with a little bit of study. But exam A and D will require uh, at least one and two years of work, ex otherwise it's difficult to crack it. Okay? Yeah, and of course exam, um, others like exam C and E are too advanced. People who have probably seven and eight years of experience, only in Informatica try to attend them. Now, architecture of Informatica. Why do we learn architecture? of any tool because learning the architecture will give us a better idea on the tool, a better control how does the tool work in the back end, all this kind of stuff. So how does Informatic architecture work? So till Informatica 7x, uh, I think uh, someone said that Informatica in the introduction, I forgot his name, sorry, but uh, uh, is it uh, Sandeep? Uh, Sandeep, you said that you learned you learned Informatica a couple of years back, or was it Arvind? I I also said that. Oh, Mahindra, Okay, okay. Sorry. Uh, you which version uh, did you learn uh, when you learned a couple of years back? Is it seven X or eight X? It was in two thousand seven, so that is uh, that must be seven um, X. Yeah, I learned six X and seven X. Okay, you learned six X and seven X. But I did download Informatica Express, which is 9.6. 9.6, okay. Right, yeah, 9.6 is the latest, yep. Okay, so we do with Informatica Power Center 8.6.1, okay? <coughs> and the latest is 9.1. Of course, there are multiple releases of it, 9.1, 9.2, 9.3. He's just fixing uh, mm, the bugs which are present in 9.1, but not very huge amendments to the tool. So eight, we are dealing with 8.6.1 in our training, and the version currently available in market is 9.1. And between 8.6 and 9.1, there are nothing uh, much except few components have been increased and few components have been improved. I'll talk about, when I go to each component, I'll talk about what is missing in 8.6 and what is present in 9, okay? So you'll get a clarity uh, which version is better. The only reason I'm not teaching 9 is it occupies too much of space on my system. That's it. And uh, nothing so extra to learn 9 and uh, not in 8. Okay? Uh, now, going to 8, eight architecture or 9 architecture, they both are same on architecture plan. Nothing changed. When it was Informatica 7 or 6x, it was basically a server and a client architecture, a typical server and a client where you install a server on a machine and client on your own machine and you in you interact with the server and client. There is a typical architecture. Now, from eight and nine, they almost kept the architecture similar, but the way the server and client interact, they changed it, okay? Now also you have a server and a client, server sitting on some other machine, and you will access, you will install the client on your laptop or on your personal computer, and you will you access the server. The connection methodology changed. It is now through web services, or through a TCP IP protocol. Every 
a request I send from a client to a server will be in the form of a TCP IP protocol or through a web service protocol which will reach my server and hit it. Now, and he also made the server administration all through a web based control. Okay. For example, if I want to hit my server page, what I will do? I'll just open any other browser and I'll just access a link. So this will open my admin console. Okay. So there is no need of any typical software to be installed on your machine, something like it. It is mostly a web driven console or a web based console. Okay. So these are the amendments he has brought into. Now, Everything here again as I said will interact through a web based service protocol. How will my client reach the uh, server? It is through a web based protocol. Some through some ports on my system exactly. If I am blocking the number of ports on my system my Informatica will not work. Okay. You can see the port numbers also which it is using probably. So these are the ports which Informatica is using to communicate with server and client. Okay. If I block these ports on my system, that's it. My Informatica will not be able to communicate or my Informatica will not be able to work with the client. So that's how Informatica uh, architecture is built. The one which you see on my screen is the components inside your Informatica server. The first one is called as node. Node is but nothing but a typical uh, the machine which I'm watching on currently. It is my laptop. Okay, it is my laptop which I'm currently using it. So on which the Informatica server is installed. This is repository service. This is integration service. Okay, the about the services and all. When we start our original class, we have a complete one day class on Informatica architecture, where I'll go in depth of what service is meant for what, how does they work. And how does they communicate in our day to day routine? Okay, I'll probably go in depth when we talk about architecture class. But for now, these are the different components present in Informatica server and which will help us in doing our day to day job that is. Okay, for example, when you run any job, your integration service will take it and it runs it, something like that. Your repository service will maintain all your code base, whatever sources you developed, whatever targets you developed. Right on a high level. So those are the functioning of those repository and integration services. And with the help of these two services, you will run your day to day jobs that is running any job or deleting a table, inserting a table, truncating a table, and everything. Every other ETL job you do. Right? So that's how you perform your ETL day to day using Informatica server and client. Any questions? Okay, the bottom are the client components. I'll go through them in the next minute, but any questions still here, please. What language? Which I do not understand. It's okay. I think Informatica is written in Java language. Is that your question or something else? No, it doesn't require any coding of Java. The Informatica as a tool is developed in Java. Okay, that's what I'm about to say. And to use Informatica, you should know basic SQL. That is the requirement. Okay. I have one question. Can you use Informatica on a mobile device like iPad or phone? No, sir, you cannot use it. Yeah, I guess. Thank you. Okay. I'm coming to the slide where I can explain, I'll explain what all it supports and what all it doesn't support. Okay. Fine. On the client tools. So the one which you see on my screen are the five different client tools which we regularly interact with. And the same you can see on my bottom of my uh, this task bar as well. The first one, <coughs> I'll start with design. So Informatica Power Center design. So in this tool, I'll probably create sources. 
this is all my sources right this is a flat file okay here you can see everything is a flat file you can see tables right xml files everything so here is the place where i import a source or this is my starting point once i want to do something on informatica first i have to do what i have to create a source for my myself or i have to import the existing source okay so the starting point is from the designer screen so first i'll try to create a source probably an xml source or a table right anything or a flat file so here is the starting point where i'll start with by creating a sources okay uh, and now after i create a source i'll probably jump to the next thing that is creating a target i follow a definite flow in informatics of a developing it for example if you want to write a c program guys you will do main square bracket open and close and then the colon and all you will follow a definite standard right similarly while developing informatica mapping i follow a regular uh, flow kind of thing or a process okay the process which i def uh, follow during informatica development is this one so i first start building a source because that is my starting point so i identify what is my source where does i pull it from or where does i build it from and then i identify my target and then i create something called as a mapping what is a mapping a mapping in is informatica is nothing but a combination of a source plus some transformations plus some target for example i have an oracle table i want to pull the data from oracle table and dump it into teradata so my source is oracle i'm extracting the data doing some here and there minor modifications in the data and then dumping back into the teradata so this whole process in informatica is called as a mapping okay a mapping looks something like this it's a huge it's a big mapping let's go with a smaller mapping okay this is a mapping now here this is my source i'll tell you with you this is my transformation this is my target so e t l i'm extracting the data i'm transforming the data and then i'm loading it back so teradata is a database which is being used as my target so i'm trying to pull the source as my oracle database and trying to load into teradata database that's how i came up with the word called as teradata that under, that answers your question with you okay okay what was the question then can you speak up then please can you unmute and speak probably uh, yeah um, i can hear you now tell me uh, what is the um, what is the purpose of saying terra data i mean i mean is it a combination of uh, different uh, components or why can't we say simply a data or a uh, or or an end table or or something one table or okay terra data terra data or what is oracle it's a database right terra data is also a corporation which which has its own database okay like oracle you have terra data as a database which is available in the market either you choose oracle as a database or teradata as a database it's a corporation teradata corporation it's founded some 6 7 years back not much not much older yeah it's a db basically so what i'm trying to explain you is i am pulling from one db and loading into other db okay okay perfect so where i am i'm at mapping so a mapping is a combination of a source plus one transformation plus one target when i speak about a source i speak about extracting the data when i speak about transformations probably i am doing some here and there concatenations clubbing the data removing duplicates or sorting the data all this stuff and then i'm loading back into the target okay so that is how i'm operating basically etl okay extract transform and load uh, and basically you will uh, 
do this on a regular basis. So that is how a mapping is built. So first I create a source and then I create a target and then probably I create something called a mapping. So this is how I do regularly in my day to day life. Now this is not the end of the process. So we are just in the middle. So any questions till this place. Okay, now, so this is what I do in this section of the tool called as Informatica Power Center Design. Now, once this is done, once I create a mapping, I am done with this window or with this tool interface of Informatica. I will switch to next interface or next tool called as Power Center Workflow Manager. Probably this is a place where I create something called as a workflow and a session. Okay, a workflow and a session are built on the top of a mapping. So you build a mapping first, on the top of a mapping you build a session, and on the top of the session you build a workflow. Probably this mapping, session, workflow, these are all new terms, you will get acquainted to them slowly. So when we actually go to the class and start building each of them, then you will try to understand why are we doing it. But this is the process we follow in Informatica build or Informatica development cycle, life cycle, okay. Now I build something called a session, session is built on the top of a mapping and I build something called as a workflow. So these are the mandatory things to, uh, to be done in Informatica. Once you build a workflow, you are done. Now you can say start workflow. So start workflow will take a request and try to run your job or your workflow and whatever is running, you can see in this screen called as workflow monitor basically succeeded you can see how many rows it has loaded how many targets so I took three rows three and I loaded three rows out so that's how you can use statistics you can pull the log you can do a number of things so that is what your workflow manager and workflow monitor will facilitate you so in workflow manager you will basically build a session and a workflow in workflow monitor you will see what is the log of it how many records it has loaded and all those things. So workflow monitor is a tool, it is only used for monitoring purposes, especially people from production support use this tool a lot. Because for production support, many number of jobs will be running day, day, on a day to day basis. So the screen which they see mostly is this workflow monitor, okay. They will open the monitor and see which jobs are running, which jobs are not running or which jobs are failed, if failed, why they are failed, all those kind of analytics can be done from this kind of this interface which is called as workflow monitor and workflow manager you can schedule your workflows to be run on specific time you can create all those conditions right so that is how workflow manager is used so these are the three primary tools designer workflow manager workflow monitor any questions till this section please Okay, thank you. I'm going going ahead. Now, going back to my original slide where I am here, right? So I'm done with designer, workflow manager, and workflow monitor. Next is this repository manager. This repository manager is a kind of a to mostly an admin kind of a tool, or I will use it for controlling uh, permissions on different folders, right? What is a folder? Nothing but in Informatica, every individual, every individual developer will have his own development area. So that we call it as a folder, right? We create a folder. For example, you, uh, we five or five developers in a team, six people, right? So we have, we'll have, we will have our individual folders created in Informatica where we do our development. Probably we'll create different folders in repository manager, control the access on different folders. And you can also use this tool for deployment. Probably I know people, does anybody, doesn't know what is deployment mean here because I heard all are with work experience they should be doing it day in and day out. Okay, so deployment is nothing but moving the code from one environment to other environment basically from development to QA, QA to UAT, UAT to prod, right different environments. So if you have to move the code from one environment to other environment you will be using this tool called as repository manager. So basically your repository manager is more of admin kind of a tool which 
you control for different workflows and different uh, things okay clear any questions okay now the last one the admin console right i just spoke about the admin console this is a screen where you can uh, control your admin how much server allocation is present all these things right we'll talk about the admin console in detail when we come to a class called as informatic architecture i have a second or third class i take up this topic where i'll go in depth of this architecture how can you control different servers for example you have a combination of one linux server one unix server like this i'm okay how can you control all these things and how how will you uh, do okay so I'll, I'll talk about this section in detail, but this is a screen where admin console, you, uh, you control your admin interfaces. And at the same point of time, I don't think this screen is visible to a developer in all the projects. This is purely controlled by Informatica administrator. And many projects, you won't have even access to see what all servers you have. No, we are not going to learn admin part also, but whatever I know, I can teach you because we install Informatica on our laptops, right? So we should be knowing at least some things from Informatica admin side so that we can control the installation. So those specifics I'll definitely teach you. But in-depth admin part, we're not going to cover. Any, any more questions on these tools? So I'm back to my PPT, please. Okay, I'm moving. I have there. a question. Uh, sorry. Yes. Sir. yes sir. You are unmuting my mic. Uh, so you said uh, installation uh, will be done on the student's laptop. So uh, do you guys purchase a training license so you can install it on other people's laptop or what kind of no. license? We have a training license. Okay. All right. Thank you. It is for one year, Vidya. Probably till 2015. Okay, now. So, uh, one, there was a question basically does Informatica support mobile platforms or all night? So, the answer to the question is here on this screen. Basically, your Informatica server can be installed on a wide variety of architectures like your Linux machines, Unix machines, Solaris machines, and of course, AX machines, and, and of course, Windows. So, server can be installed on any of these cross platforms, and you can have a combination of these also, meaning you can have Informatica server installed on Windows and Linux, and they both can work together for you. That is also possible. Okay? Now, your client, whatever you see here, these four windows, D designer, W workflow manager, M monitor, and the repository manager, they can be installed only on Windows, okay? And there is no specific mobile version for it, but probably if you're, these days mobiles are also coming up with high capacity, so you can try to install it. This client approximately and server approximately needs about two GB of installation space on your machines, okay? <clears throat> so that's how the architecture is built. Does it answer your question? Probably who asked on mobile networks? Mobile platform, sorry. Yeah, yeah, it does, thank you. Okay, so yeah, this was the design execution process which, I, which we were just talking about. So creating a source, creating a target, creating a mapping, session, workflow, and then running the workflow. So if you want to complete one complete one cycle of Informatic development, you have to follow the six steps. Then only a cycle of Informatic development is done. And probably this will be a little challenging in the first one, two days, because this, the terms are new, and once you get acquainted to it, you have to do it for every mapping, every workflow, so it will be easy for you folks. Okay, any questions? I'm done with my demo. Uh, yeah, I have a question. 
for the training session do you cover concept like uh, dimensional data modeling uh, relational data modeling data warehousing other concepts like any other tools that are used in the market for uh, this uh, like uh, data modeling like erwin or toad something like that no, no we don't cover erwin or toad any data modeling tools we j we'll just go through the data warehousing fundamental class for those people who doesn't know what is dws right basically what is a star schema what is a snowflake schema what is the dimension what is a fact that's the basic interaction class for dw and then we start with informatica okay thank you and probably this course will take about 35 to 40 hours okay or 40 35 to 45 in between them and uh, based on your availability and my availability it will be completed one to one one and a half month that is the duration of this course i prefer to take one hour class every day and probably on uh, on weekends i uh, try to extend it to a little bit okay so that is how i generally do it and what else uh, one more question yes sir. you guys do you provide like uh, projects for students like the mini projects of real like in creating an environment you give them project homework or to get practice for uh, resume and interviews and stuff all right every day once we are done with a specific topic right i try to give you some scenarios uh, which are being uh, regularly done in the development cycle and uh, at, i mean th i'll give you a couple of scenarios by the end of our classes but not any specific project i we do at least probably i mean uh, anthony can answer it better anthony do you have any project developed or with informatica because at least i don't have any Yeah, uh, we will try to create a prompt. Uh, this is something that I think that we discussed with uh, Ramesh. No, I, I could not hear you, sir. You're not able to hear you. <laughs> okay. Uh, can you hear me now? Yep. Yeah. So uh, about the projects, uh, you know, we generally provide a project, uh, you know, towards the end of the the training. Uh, which is supposed to give them some sort of uh, you know a hands on uh, experience you know working on a live project so this is something that we will provide and uh, you know we are providing this uh, you know um, this kind of uh, project through our uh, vendors and uh, this is something that i will introduce to you later okay cool fine so one was the question uh, do you provide any pdf document or notes yes we provide you pdfs and of course <coughs> informatica has a help file sorry <coughs> sorry about it so informatica has a help file which is inbuilt with the tool that is your bible so you do most of your knowledge sharing or learning on through that help file only but in in addition to it i'll also provide you seven or eight eight ppts and you can i'll share it with you okay i have all these ppts where i talked about each component in detail they are prepared by me they are proprietary to me okay so i wrote my understanding on them and i'll also give you some nice blocks on informatica where you can go and study about them there are two blocks which most of people prefer one is navin blog and one is vidya balance blog vidya balance not vidya bala okay so vidya balance blog where you you have a very good uh, written document on each component so there are the reference material which we generally use will it contain the lab 2 no lab will give you separate the scenarios will give you separate sunday sajini sorry okay and and uh, can you answer vidya's question or is it is it answered uh, vidya was asking if this uh, co after this coaching would you suggest testing as good break or directly into development development vidya after this coaching probably development would be a good start for you okay you can, uh, if you have if you have prior knowledge on testing you can also go with testing but yeah whatever i do is mostly to a development oriented so development as a steep okay all right any further technical question for the trainer uh you know if you don't have any further technical question i can talk to you about the placements and uh, you know uh, what happens next uh, how do we go about it
Okay, Vidya has a question. Uh, will you give SQL practice assignments? You will obviously, yep. you will get it uh, as a part of Informatica. So yep. yeah, I'll, I'll do it. Yeah, all right. Uh, so here's something that I want all of you to understand. You know, since this uh, training is, uh, you know, aimed at, you know, uh, building a core uh, knowledge for you or a practical competence for, uh, competence, competency for you, to be able to get a job, yes, there will be a lot of practical involved. So that's a given. Whatever topics or concepts you discuss with Jairam, it will all be, you know, it will all come with certain examples and uh, assignments as well. Okay, let me answer Mahindra's question. One second, Anthony. Sure, please go on. Mahindra, so on the test data, right, our uh, database when we install, we have about 10 or 15 tables. On the top of it, I have some 20 tables which have have the SQL script. I'll give you those test data. So we have around 20 tables where you can play with. I have some flat files. So if we need anything else, we need to create test data, but a very little amount of it. Don't worry. But yeah, test data creation is also a part of developer process, so we need to learn that also. Does it answer your question?